Have you ever pondered over the harsh reality of border killings and its impact on innocent lives? It's a chilling narrative that unfolds on the Bangladesh-India border, year after year. The Home Minister of Bangladesh revealed to the parliament that in the last decade, 294 Bangladeshis have been killed by the Border Security Force, or BSF. These aren't just numbers but lives lost. 66 in 2009, 55 in 2010, 24 each in 2011 and 2012, 18 in 2013, 24 in 2014, 38 in 2015, 25 in 2016, 17 in 2017, and a significant drop to only 3 in 2018. These figures paint a grim picture of the border situation. Despite a trend of declining border killings over the last three years, the situation took a turn for the worse in 2019. While official figures paint a bleak picture, independent sources suggest an even darker reality. Reports from private organizations such as the Law and Arbitration Center or ASAC and Adhikar present a more alarming scenario. According to their data, the death toll in 2019 was significantly higher than the official count with 46 and 41 deaths respectively. They also document instances of torture, abduction and injuries, adding another layer of horror to the situation. The Border Security Force or BSF of India however, paints a different narrative. They label these fatalities as accidental deaths, rather than murders. In a meeting held in Dhaka in 2019, the BSF Director General insisted that such deaths were unwanted, not murders. Yet he confessed that BSF personnel do resort to lethal weapons, but only in self-defense when miscreants attack. This statement is in stark contrast to a bilateral agreement signed in April 2018, vowing to avoid the use of lethal weapons in cross-border incidents. The bilateral agreement to refrain from using lethal weapons in cross-border incidents seems to be nothing more than words on paper. Promises are only as good as the actions that follow them, in a meeting between the Bangladeshi Border Guard and the Border Security Force Director Generals in December 2019, assurances were given to address the ongoing issue of border killings. The BSF pledged to be more vigilant to prevent such unfortunate incidents, but the very next day, a Bangladeshi national was killed, casting a somber shadow over these assurances. This incident triggered a wave of anger in Bangladesh. The Foreign Minister voiced his frustration stating, India had promised that not a single person would die on the border. Unfortunately, border killings are a reality. We are concerned about that. Bangladesh's plea was simple. India must fulfill its promises. What was supposed to be a beacon of hope, a promise of change, ended up being another instance of disappointment. The BSF's assurance of vigilance and the subsequent death of a Bangladeshi national tells a story of broken promises and unfulfilled assurances. Despite promises, border killings remain a grim reality. Behind these numbers are real people, with real lives and real families. The reality is that the main reason behind these killings is the excessive use of force by the border security force. Along the densely populated border areas, we see the heart-wrenching sight of people losing their farms and livelihoods due to river erosion. This harsh circumstance often leads many to resort to smuggling as a desperate means of survival. Reports from Human Rights Watch paint a grim picture alleging indiscriminate firing by the border security force without even attempting to arrest or warn suspects. And it's not just adults who bear the brunt of this brutality. Instances of child abuse have come to light reflecting the grim reality at the border. We must remember that these are not just numbers or statistics. These are human lives lost, families shattered and dreams destroyed. In this era of global unity and human rights, such incidents demand our attention and action. We must raise our voices against these unjust killings and demand accountability. It's time to turn promises into actions.